Hey my YouTube followers, welcome back to another beer review. Zoigel House Brewing Company, Portland, Oregon. Zoigel Hell, German style lager. Here is the bottle. All of them pretty much look the same with the exception of the color and of course the name of the beer. The Bavarian Hellas Lager became popular in response to Pilsner. Hell is German adjective describing lightness and color, not the flavor. Hellas means uh, bright and clear. Brewed with 100% German Pilsner malt, our Zeugel Hell combines a clean, crisp malt background, a subtle note of German spicy hops. That's what I was reading right there. I didn't read all of it, but I read most of it. I have no idea how long this beer has been available. As far as I know, this beer is seasonal. This bottle cost me $4.29. There's no detail on the website. On the bottle here, it doesn't get very much. Pilsner malt. Pilsner malt's going to give it a bread, cracker, dough flavored spicy German hops. They could be a hollow tower, they could be a saws, although those are actually Czech. Tetninger, difficult to say. Sometimes it's earthy or floral or fruity, depending on your perception. I don't think there's much more to this. I mean, Hell's Lager is pretty basic. They rely on the on the yeast to give the flavor. The body style for this should be light, maybe medium. 5% alcohol, 22 IBU. Straw, or maybe light golden, should be completely transparent, not hazy at all, so clear or bright, bright on the palate, maybe a little bit of sweetness or fruity or floral, I usually get some combination of those in it, maybe even a little bit of maltiness in there, bread, grain, cracker may be present as well. All the flavors are usually pretty light on the palate. Went a little fast there, slow down and speedy. All right, guys, there we go. Straw color, but it's really cloudy. That is not usual. So this is very hazy, decently carbonated. That probably doesn't show up very well. Thin head, it's gone down from about a quarter of an inch to about an eighth of an inch. The haziness is caused most likely by low flocculating yeast, which means it doesn't drop out of suspension after fermentation. There's no sediment floating in it other than the yeast. I am surprised it's cloudy though. I was not expecting that. I get a little bit of fruity out of the nose, but it's ever so faint. I couldn't even tell you what it is. Maybe a little bit of citrus in there. Slightly clean aroma. The scents I get are pretty nice. Um, it does have a very mild restrained fruitiness to it. Covers my entire mouth. It goes in and opens up. It just balloons up. 50-50 top and bottom. It's between light and medium body. No hot presence at all. No bitterness, no bites. Gilbus sweetness bring up the back, but it's subtle and restrained. No spices, just the fruit. I'm not getting bread, cracker, dough. I'm not really getting citrusy, tanginess, no earthy. If I get a little bit of a malty backbone, maybe, no? The sweetness is there, ever so light though, but it's not like a candy sweetness, more of a fruity sweet. The mouth feels a little bit thick, not watery. It's a simple recipe. This is not a complex beer, but it does feel pretty solid and rounds out the mouth. I have no doubt that most of the flavor is coming from the yeast. Hops certainly can provide some of these flavors and they may be as well. They even said spicy German hops on the label. I don't get spiciness in the aroma or the flavor. For being a lager, it should be crisp, clean, and bright. It's not clear. It has a clean flavor to it. It's bright color, but not transparent. And it should be a clear beer. Now I get a little bit of citrus out of it. I'm still getting the sweetness from fruit. Those flavors brush back and forth and just leave a nice coating of that fruity, citrusy sweetness. Between light and medium body, coats my entire mouth. Maybe a little more citrusy this time around. I'm still not tasting the malts in there. You know, no bread cracker dough. More citrus and I get sweet fruit. With the glass, it was more of the sweet fruit followed by a little bit of, of a citrus. And this time it's the reciprocal, the opposite. 
almost a little bit of lemony zest in there. The body, the mouthfeel, the complexity, the chewiness, that's all the same. The only difference I can tell at this point is the bottle is more lemony zesty citrus and the glass is more sweet fruit. There are no off flavors in this at all. It's skunk from sunlight, uh, no diastole buttery like that, astringency, which would be mouth puckering, no chemical flavors. I don't taste any fused alcohols, no DMS, rotten fruit, paper, not, nothing off putting. Would I buy this again? No, I would not because I don't think it really captures what Hell's Lager is. If you didn't tell me it was a Hell's Lager, I would guess it. Would I recommend it? I would. Give it a shot. I think it's below average. I don't think they did a good job. Tastes nothing like a normal Hell's Lager. I'm not impressed. I think it's below average. Zoigel House Brewery, Portland, Oregon. Zoigel Hellas. German style lager. Comments, feedback, uh, have you had this beer? Your thoughts on it? Anything you want to say? I like to read comments. That's all for this review here. Prost. I really like Hell's Lager, so that's one of my favorite styles. Well, actually, German beer is one of my favorite styles. Uh, I mean, I guess bright color, but I think clear. Okay, it's like you know, making a hamburger and saying, well, it's like a taco, but different. Well, then it's not taco, is it? Uh, that's not to say it's a horrible, terrible beer. It's nasty. You know, you'd rather eat out of the toilet. 